Hey kids, hey. welcome to City Kids at Home. I'm Raul here. And I'm Amy, and we're in a series called The Gospel, Woo. all about the Gospels or the good news of Jesus. That's right, and today our big idea is nothing, nothing is, is impossible. impossible. Today, we're going to be learning that the possibilities are endless with God on our side. Yep, and now let's hear you all sing our values motto. I'm a world changer. Today, I'll use my ears to listen closely, my mouth to speak kindly, and my hands to help gently. With God's help, there is nothing I cannot do. Instead of having a bad attitude, I will have a humble heart. I will smile and cheer others on because together we will change the world. Hey kids! Welcome back to Body Moving. I'm Raul. And I'm Amy. And this is where we prepare our hearts and bodies for worship. That's right. So today we have three new stretches. Right? What's the first one? Okay, so our first one, they're called knee huggers. Knee huggers, show me what a knee hugger so looks like. So you're just gonna grab a knee, any okay. knee. Ready? And you're gonna hug it as tight as you can. Whoa. And it's about balance too, okay? Ooh, that feels nice. And we're gonna hold it for five seconds. Okay, count Ready? us out. Oh. One, whoa, two, whoa. three, four, five. Uh, and then we do the other one? Yes, that's okay, right. Okay, here we go. One, two, Ooh. three, four, five. Woo. Nice. Woo, I feel good. Yes. And then now we have our second stretch, which is running on the spot. Running on the spot. And I really like this one. So we're just gonna run on the spot for five seconds and stop. And if we can just listen to my instructions, then we're gonna stop and go, stop and go. Okay. Ready, kids? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. And then five more seconds. Ready? One, faster, faster, faster. two, faster, three, four, five. Woo! Oh, so so good. good. Okay, so our final stretch. Yeah. Okay? They're called mountain climbers. Woo. Okay? So you're just gonna pretend you're like climbing. Just like this? Yeah, climbing, climbing a mountain. Climbing a huge mountain? Yes. Okay, for how long? Let's do 10 seconds. 10 seconds, okay. You guys ready? Count us out. Yes, I'm ready. ready? Yeah. Okay, ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! I can do one more. Ready? Again, stay. Here we go. One, one two, two, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. ten. Woo! Woo! That was so good. That was so awesome, good. kids. Now that our bodies are prepared, we're gonna prepare our hearts. That's Woo! right. I'm out of breath. Oh, me too. Yeah. So now if we can all just bow our heads and close our eyes, and we're gonna pray to close off and get ready for worship. So here we go, kids. Just repeat after me. Dear Jesus, dear Jesus, thank you so much for this day. Thank you so much for this day. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my friends. Thank you for my friends. And thank you for City Kids. And thank you for City Kids. Today we're gonna sing. Today we're gonna sing. And dance. And dance. And it's all for your glory. And it's all for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Woo! Let's go, kids.
Wow, such a good time of praise and worship. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. And today, our big idea is nothing is impossible. That's right. When Jesus was on earth, he did some super crazy things, some super cool miracles. He really did. And I have this favorite verse about Jesus' miracles. It reminds me that nothing is too hard with God on my side. It's Luke 137, and it says, nothing is impossible for God. That's right. Yeah. Through the Gospels, we see Jesus doing impossible miracles. Mm -hmm. He showed God's power when He walked on water, calmed the storm, and made sick people well. Yeah, and there was even this one time where Jesus was preaching on this mountainside, surrounded by all His disciples, and the crowd had been there for a super long time, and everyone was really hungry. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I know this one. Oh. No one brought food except for this one young boy. Uh, I think reporter Rick is with him right now. That's right, let's go. Yes, reporter Rick here, and we seem to be on the scene of what happens to be a miracle. Jesus was here, and we, we know that where Jesus says miracles happen, but you know I like facts. I like the hard-fitting facts. So here I have a little boy with me whose name is unknown, but he has facial hair, and he knows exactly what happened. So little boy, what happened here today? Jesus was here, what took place? So yeah, you said it, Jesus was here, and I was here. There are so many people everywhere. How many people? Oh, like 5,000 maybe. That Just the dads though. There's 5,000 people were here. And then, and then there was like the families and stuff too. So, but let's just say 5,000. Okay, so you're here, 5,000 people are here. And what happened? So, okay, so Jesus was talking and the people, they got hungry, right? Do you, you get hungry? I'm hungry right now. I'm hungry right now. So. I was hungry and just like everybody else, they were all hungry and everyone was like, there's so many people, should we send them away or should we figure out how to feed them? So what happened? What happened next? Oh, so then I brought, I had, I had bread and I had fish and Jesus was there, right? I said that. So Jesus I, was there. So I, I brought it and I, I didn't think there was too many people for me to feed, but I said, here, the, uh, you can take this. So get, let me just, let's just back up. Boys and girls, we need to get the facts. You telling me that you had five pieces of bread and two whole fish just for you. I mean, my mom sends me off every day and she says, you're a growing boy, so you gotta eat your food. Yeah, that seems like a lot of food. Well, sometimes I share. Okay, I hope so because, well, whatever, let's get past it. But it seems like a lot of food for you, but for 5,000 people, that's not a lot of food. No, you're right, it's not a lot. So me. you gave it to Jesus saying, Jesus, feed 5,000 people with my five bread and two fish. Well, I didn't say feed all 5,000 with, with just what I have. I was just like, there's so many people and I just have a little bit, but maybe it could be used somehow. And what did Jesus do with it? So that's the miracle, this crazy thing. So I, I brought it and Jesus took it and gave it to his disciples. He broke some of it and gave it to the disciples. He gave them bread and he gave them fish. And then when the people, the disciples went to the people, they fed them and it's, the baskets just didn't run out. There was so much in the baskets and then as they gave it, they kept coming back to a full basket. So there was unlimited bread and fish. Unlimited, it was a dream. <laughs> so all 5,000 people got fed? Exactly, all 5,000. Nobody was hungry anymore. They came hungry, but they didn't leave hungry. But so with five bread and two fish, over 5,000 people got fed. Did Jesus do anything special? Did he, did he pray? What did he do? Anything, can I, can I do this at home? Uh, Jesus did it, he did it. He, he just, he, he thanked the Lord for the bread and the fish and he blessed it. And then he just gave it to the disciples and they just gave it just like that. So you're telling me that Jesus doesn't need much to make a lot. That's exactly, I mean, you said it was a lot for me, but it was not a lot for 5,000 people. But Jesus did it. Jesus did it. Everywhere we seem to be going, boys and girls, Jesus is there doing the impossible. Unreal. Well, that's all we have for today. Thank you, little boy, for taking this time with us to explain to us what happened here. We'll see you next time, City Kids. This has been Reporter Rick and Little Boy. Wow. Jesus not only fed thousands and thousands of people, there was even more left over. There was more than enough for everybody. That's right, and God's possibilities for your life are endless. Yeah. He has more than enough in store for you, and nothing is impossible for our God. That's right. 
Things seem impossible when you've never seen them happen before. Yeah. Before men had landed on the moon, most people would have thought that it was impossible to fly to the moon at all. Yeah, and if you had told someone in ancient Egypt that one day a man would get in the rocket and walk on the moon, they would have thought you were crazy. Yeah. Now we've seen it done and we know it's not impossible anymore. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. God's power is greater than anything in the universe. Yeah. His power is greater than gravity, greater than fear, and greater than any sickness. That's right. And what seems to be impossible in your life right now? It may seem impossible that you can't pass a test at school. That's right. It may seem impossible that you can learn to ride that two-wheeler bike. Yeah. It may seem impossible for that one person you've been praying for to get to know Jesus for themselves. Yeah. And life can throw us some tough situations that seem impossible to us. Yeah. But once you see that God can do something in your life that you thought was impossible, you'll have faith that nothing is too hard for God because you've seen Him do it. <laughs> yeah. Now we can be encouraged by Jesus' miracles in yeah. the gospel. In the gospel, we see Jesus do the impossible. Now we can believe that God can do the impossible in our lives too. That's right. But right now, kids, it's time for Arts and Snacks yes. with Jordan and Danielle. That's right. So here we go. Woo! Hey City Kids, welcome to Art and Snack with Jordan. And Danielle. And today we're going to try doing the impossible. And the impossible thing that we're going to try to do today is fit inside this cue card. Do no you way. think do you think I can fit inside this? Not a chance. Look, watch. Okay, well we gotta do a little bit of work first. So what you're gonna need to do this are some scissors and a, a cue card. card. <laughs> but before you get started, if you don't have cards like these, you can cut this size out of any paper by cutting 10 centimeters by 15 centimeters. And we're gonna give you a couple seconds to grab everything you need. Don't forget your snack. <laughs> so to get started, you need to fold your piece of paper or index card in half. Hot dog or hamburger? Hot dog, right? Ah, Hot dog. I prefer hamburgers. But don't eat it, because you have a snack to eat. What if I put the popcorn inside the hot dog? Still don't eat it? <laughs> don't eat it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is cut two slits on the folded line. So we're gonna cut, flip it over so the opening is at the top. Cut one, but don't cut all the way. All right and then cut one on the other side. I think I can fit inside this, but I don't know if you can. So we'll see. Is that because I ate too much popcorn? Maybe. Okay, so now we have our card looks like this. It has two little flaps on the side. Okay, now what we're gonna do is cut on the middle line where we folded. Okay. So it makes kind of a little, little door. Good job. Cool. So now we're going to fold it in half again, and this is where it gets tricky, so you might need a parent to help you out. So we're going to cut all along the card here, all along your paper, until we get to the other side. So what we're going to do is start on the side, the opposite side of where we made our first cut. So I'm going to start at the bottom, okay? And make sure not to cut all the way to the top, okay? Now I'm going to flip it over. I'm gonna cut from the other side. All right, so just do that all the way across. But the trick is to make sure that when you get to this side, you're not cutting the same way. So I'm gonna make one cut on this side, opposite of the other one, okay? We're gonna do the impossible today. Well, I already know it's possible. Do you know that it's possible? Nope, I don't believe you. There's no way <laughs> then you can fit inside of a card. <laughs> then we're gonna do the impossible for Jordan. Do you know who else does the impossible? Does his name start with a J? It does, and it's not Jordan. Uh, so try again. <laughs> does it end with Jesus? It does. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. he does the impossible. He does, not like this. No. But he does things that are really impossible. Mm -hmm. So everything is possible. All right, I'm almost there. Are you almost there? Almost. I also almost cut all the way through. Oh! <gasps> if you cut all the way, <laughs> if you cut all the way through, you can always just start again. Okay. So make sure when you finish. All right. One 
some speed now. I almost Try made a mistake. Up. Okay. So it has to be opposite? Yeah, so opposite all the way. Done? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so now very, very carefully unfold your card and stretch it out. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Be very careful that this doesn't rip, but you can always try again. <gasps> Did you rip yours? No, it's going to though. Oh no. <laughs> Try. Nice. Okay, here's the fun part. Now, we're gonna try very carefully to step through this card or put it over your head, but I'm gonna try to step through. I'm gonna go over the head. Oh, okay. <laughs> Be careful not to rip. Doesn't fit. Just kidding. Oh. <laughs> All right. Look at that. <gasps> How are you doing? Good. I need popcorn to get me through the rest. <laughs> oh, careful, guys. This is dangerous. Can you help? Yes, please. There you go. Thank you. All right. Look at that. You said we couldn't fit inside this. Here we are. I said it. I think we just did the impossible. Thanks so much for doing this with us, city kids. Make sure, <laughs> make sure not to do that, but show this trick to all your friends and family, and every time that you do it, make sure you remind them that Jesus can do the impossible. He can, he really can, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Wow, thanks so much, Jordan and Danielle. Those arts and crafts were awesome. Yeah, so awesome. Now it's time for trivia. Ooh, that's right. So here we go. We got our three questions. Yeah. The first one is, what is the big idea of today? Hmm. Is it impossible odds? Nothing is impossible? Or God can do most things? Hmm. Hmm. The answer is, Nothing is impossible. That's right. Woo. So our second question is, what did the boy bring to Jesus? Oh. Hmm. Is it fruits and veggies? Okay. Cheese and crackers? Oh man. Or fish and bread? Um, what is it? The answer is fish and That's bread. That's right. Woo, good job guys. And our last question for today is, how many people did Jesus feed? Hmm. Was it 5,000, 50, or 500? Huh, what is There's it? There's a lot of numbers, but the right answer is 5,000 people. That's right. Good job, guys. And now we're just gonna bow our heads and pray and just thank Jesus for everything that he does for us and our families. That's right. So if you guys could just repeat after me, and here we go, kids. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Thank you so much for today. Thank you so much for today. Thank you for our family. Thank you for our family. Thank you for our friends. Thank you for our friends. And for church. And for church. And most importantly. And most importantly. Thank you that we can do everything through you. That we can do everything through and you. And that nothing is impossible. And that nothing is impossible. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Woo! Woo! Don't forget to share this video with all your friends and check the description below for some fun at home activities and discussions. That's right. See you next week, City Kids. Bye. We love you. Woo! Before our episode ends, we want to give you the opportunity to make the decision to accept Jesus. It's the most important decision there is. You see, we all have a problem, sin. Romans says that all have sinned, and it's actually more than just doing bad things. It's something that we were born with, and it separates us from God. Sin has a terrible consequence, death, and that's why we need a savior, Jesus. God the Father sent him to earth to save us, and he lived a perfect life and had no sin. He became the perfect sacrifice to save us. Jesus died on a cross for us because He loves us so much and didn't want us to be separated anymore. But after three days, He came back to life. Jesus is alive, and that means we can choose to be alive in Him. Romans 10 verse 9 says this, If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. You see, all we have to do is believe in Him and invite Him to come into our hearts. Maybe you're a part of our city kids, or maybe you're just a parent tuning in with us. You see, it doesn't matter who you are or what you've done. Jesus loves you. And if you would like to make this very important decision today, I wanna to invite you just to pray this little prayer with me. 
All right, let's bow our heads and pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your sacrifice on the cross. Thank you that you died for us and that you came back to life. Jesus, forgive me for my sins. I want to be alive in you. I ask you to come into my heart. Be the Lord of my life. I love you, Jesus. In your name we pray, amen. And if you prayed this prayer for the first time today, I want to congratulate you. It says in the Bible that all of heaven is rejoicing in this moment, and we're rejoicing with you. And also, I want to remind you that if you did pray this prayer for the very first time, make sure to tell someone, maybe tell a parent or a friend or someone important so that they can take some next steps with you. Well, City Kids, we love you so much, and we'll see you next week.